Okay. Stream should be going. And uh, as the title suggests, we're starting off with Fate Grand Order. Because, you know, there's still that event going on and I'm still doing it. Should be a new, yes, new story event. Um, bunch of random stuff. Last time when we encounter, encountered something like this, our good old Berserker AoE looping strategy worked quite well, so let's go for that again. Which means we're looking for a narrow bride. Slowly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna find one eventually. I'm sure. We could also try to do it with um with a waiver. But uh, I don't like that as much. Oops. This is definitely the biggest downside to playing with a controller. Because all of this menuing, scrolling stuff is so slow. We'll try to run one more refresh and then we don't find her, we'll go with a waiver. Ah, come on. Not a single. Aha! Uh -huh. It's level 6. Ah, that should be okay. Might be okay. Definitely gonna be okay. No worries. Can I even give you friend chocolate? We're not even friends. Oh, okay. I guess so. No, I, I, I guess so. I would have had to click on it. Whatever. Let her be happy. Let her be, be cheerful. Oops, fuck. always been a slumber party. Always has been. <laughs> Me too. Yay. <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to her?
Uh huh. Oh, what? Hey, a raid, my first raid ever. Hello and thank you. Uh, we're currently going through the the most recent story event. You do, kind of, but you know. That's fine. You're a handsome guy. Uh, yeah, it's on the inside. Now, come on, come on. You're handsome. Come on. Reku squad. I mean, that's kind of his deal. Uh, your rate notif? What do you mean? Hold on. Uh, Rick Raid, yep. How are you streaming? I kind of just started, so it's been short. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> The Lonely Heart Police, no. My favorite character is uh, Nobunaga, specifically uh, the Berserker and uh, Avenger version. I'd say I prefer the Summer version, the Berserker version a little more, but uh, they're both super awesome. Uh, who is it this time? Hmm. Always looking for chocolate. Who would your be? Who would your favorite character be? Reku, Reku Nance. Yeah, Nobunaga. Oh hey, it's you. Mula. Ah, Astolfo, Astolfo. Good choice, solid choice. Definitely. <clears throat> That's exactly what she said about you. Hmm. Ushiwaka model. I also have, um, I think at least, I'm pretty sure I have Ushiwakamaru uh, graded to level 80 because I did that before I had a you know four or five star single target rider and because she's cool Oh, another raid of one of one that's still a raid and I welcome it <laughs> anywho What? Those ears can't be fake. They're too cute to be fake. I get that. <laughs> she does have a bit of a Nintendo Switch color motif going on, doesn't she? But she's cute. No going after moneying. Oh, 
Oh, what what picture is that? No. Aha! You know, she's kind of a funny person. Which one do I pick? Shit, it's too difficult. Oh my god. Uh, it's so hard, man. Shit. Uh, um, this is the most meaningful decision I've made in my entire life. I can't just, I just can't, I can't just let it go to waste, man. I'm gonna go with number two. Yeah, it's quite high level. Dang, Iguro is feeling personally attacked. Get him! Get him, Hikakuro! Yep. That's not a horrible thing at all. Free chocolate is... One of the best things I've ever heard of. Let's hope my team is good enough to fight these guys. It's definitely gonna be good enough. And I definitely don't even need to do all of this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oops. Extremely overkilling it, but sometimes that's just what you got to do. Wait. Oh, I see what happened. Uh, this support Nerobrite did not have this skill upgraded, so I didn't gain any NP. Uh, yeah, Nerobrite uh, was actually my very first 5-star. And she's been very, very useful ever since. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to use a friggin' command spell. Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna, I can probably just clash my way, slash my way through this. Hopefully. Actually, I'm gonna have to use this probably just to make sure. That should work, right? Right? Yes, okay. Nah, I didn't quite make enough NP. Damn it! <clears throat> Oh, I guess looping wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> well, that sucks. Um, I guess I'm gonna do this. And uh, probably best to stun you. And also just go for your head. Um, hmm. 
I could still try to get some NP. I'm gonna do that. Maybe the increased NP gain. Ah, uh, no. Not quite. But halfway is pretty good for one attack. Um... I mean, I could probably maybe do it now. Let's try again! Yes. Not the awesome two or even three tier, three turn clear that I was hoping for, but hey. That's probably still gonna get the job done, isn't it? Bam! Oh wait, one of them survived. But not for long. Haha! <laughs> Sometimes it's really wild how much lower your damage is without all the buffs. Um, no, I'm not going to friend you because you haven't even upgraded your skill. Come on. Come on. Zeplang. How could you? Well, that's rude. The one that lets you swap, you mean? Or wait, Mystic Code? That's the that's the address, right? <clears throat> yeah. As long as you have cat ears, everything's gonna work out. Oops, damn it. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like a pretty good business model. Why wouldn't you want cat girls to work at your cafe, at your bar? Come on. Captain Kalia. I'm not sure which one that is. <clears throat> is that the one that's like submarine-y? Gonna have to look. Gonna have to take a look. <laughs> now we're talking here, Kudo. Yeah. No, I am sure that's a great idea. Let me pick a different choice. I don't want to pick this. Oh, well. Amazing St. Quartz. And now we just do the most recent thing. Uh, for this, we have a handy dandy farming setup. We just need another Scotty. You're gonna do just fine. Uh, this one? Nope. This one? Nope. Is it this one? Yes. <coughs> and, uh,. Sure, this is okay. Actually, no, wait, let's equip this. 
And uh, that should work. Oh wait, ah, okay, yes, now I can check. So, Captain, is this Captain? Captain, yep, so I got it right, yeah, that looks pretty good. The one thing I don't like about this one is that she looks kind of sad, or like, displeased to be wearing it. But it's just way too fucking good to not use. <clears throat> and... Uh... Sure, you can have some chocolate. Whoa, the five slaying queens. This, this, and this, and then we make a team just made out of pretty girls who all happen to have purple hair. Uh, I actually haven't spent that much. For example, I played for an entire year before spending any money on this game. <clears throat> So, I'd say I'm pretty okay on the soul selling. Just gotta remember the quick this. This is the one turn buff, yes, so I'm not gonna use it right now. And, whoops. I've just been playing for, is it, I think three years, maybe four. I don't know. <clears throat> Okay, that worked out very well. Oops, oh well, that's fine. I usually do this thing <clears throat> when I select the, the, the cards in these farming setups where I try to kind of form a rainbow of cards. So for example, if the if the NP is a quick card, then I try to pick a an arts and a buster card to form a rainbow. It doesn't do anything, but I, you know, it's my special uh, soul bonus just for myself. Didn't even need to do her stats, uh, need to use her art skill. See, but it doesn't count about the rainbow if I use, uh, you know, if I use her Buster card. So I can't actually form a proper rainbow this time. So I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck. Very interesting, I know. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's how you three turn loop. Sweet rewards. Let's just do that two more times, I guess. <laughs> Uh, sure, I have another one, if you're the same person, which I think you are. Wasn't paying attention. Okay. 
can't form another rainbow again because, you know, this is both the same servant, so it doesn't count. Which means we lose like thousands and thousands of soul points, which are very valuable somewhere. Damn, we're just not getting any rainbows. Damn. Lots and lots of overkill hits. That's probably why we're looping so effectively. Wait, was that different? Huh? Wasn't it supposed to give me a re a retry rerun button prompt? Oh well. Yeah, these with a proper farming setup, you're gonna just blast through these minor waves. Um, not this time. Wait, did I even give chocolate the first two times? Did I just hit that button? Not thinking. No, oh, well. Again. Oh, actually, we can. We can actually form a rainbow. No, wait, we can't. Yes, we can. See? A buster card by somebody else and a, an arts card by somebody else. That's a proper rainbow. Wow. Amazing. So many points. Then it's even more special if, if we get multiple rainbows in one run. So maybe we can make that happen and then we can be winners. Uh, this. Green. Nope. Oh wait, we can form a... See, this is another special rainbow situation here. If we can form a rainbow with just one character, like including this NP, then it also counts. It counts less, but it still counts. This is all very important stuff. Blast him! And... Bada boom! Make sure we kill them all by using our other power-up. Then we... Unleash another rainbow! Wow, we got the max rainbow power in this entire run. We are blessed forever. Uh, all wishes will come true to all of us forever. Ah, there's the repeat. 
thing, but this time we're out of AP and I'm not gonna spend more. Uh, I have been streaming every day since I started uh, earlier this week, I think two days ago. I plan on doing it every day, but uh, <clears throat> you know, we'll see. Oh hey, we can we can afford one of these now, yay! If you're wondering why I'm scrolling through these menus so slowly, it's because I'm actually controlling this with a with a pad, and I'm using a virtual mouse to drag around, which makes all of this stuff a little slow. But uh, it's easier on my wrists, <laughs> and it also has its advantages, like these buttons. Like for skills and stuff, I think those are a little bit faster than trying to play it with a mouse. Of course, the fastest and most efficient way would to would be to actually play it on a, you know, on a touch device. But my phone's too old, so I can't. <laughs> um. Oh wait, where? Wrong button. Cancer. Ports it up. Um, you get this. What does this actually do as for like rewards for the for the other people? Increase sparkle points amount. That's probably good. They will probably appreciate that. I'm sure. Okay. And with that, I'm done with what I was going to do in Fate Go. Uh, so now I could go and play some uh, dual monsters, <coughs> which I'm still, you know, doing the solo stuff for. Or I could... Uh... Oh wait, you... Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I, I saw your emote, but I didn't see your message. If you're still here, then uh, hey, goodbye. Thanks for showing up and stuff. And it's 3 a.m., huh? I guess you must uh, live somewhere in the closer to Japan or something. Uh, yeah. Thanks a bunch and uh, have a good night. Thanks. Bye bye. Um, so I think I'm gonna just start another gacha game <laughs> because I just yesterday, or technically I guess today, started playing uh, Princess Connect. Um. And I thought, hey, might as well stream some of it. Now I'm wondering, maybe I have, maybe the day reset, because, you know, this is probably an American server. And time zones and stuff. Because Blue Archive resets at least around 8 p.m. for me, which passed already. So what do we got done missions here? Uh, clear these quests. Okay, yeah, I did that. Yep, that's true. Okay, looks like... Okay, looks like the day hasn't changed in-game. That's fine. <clears throat> um, we could do some character stuff, but not... I'd rather proceed on the main quest right now. Get some fancy stuff and whatnot. 
Also, I have um, a lot more than the maximum AP, and I kind of want to, you know, spend it so that so I'm be so that I'm being efficient. I got some free rolls, and I actually managed to pull two five stars, which I think weren't guaranteed actually. So I think this one on the very left, right? You can't see my cursor. This one on the very left, I think that one was probably from like a guaranteed, like, you know, pull thing from a pool of three star characters that you're gonna guarantee yourself one of. But the others, I think I was just kind of lucky with. And like these two on the right, actually, I'm gonna put out the cursor again, these two on the right are actually really cool, at least like visually and stuff. I don't know if they're any good. Yeah. In the tier list or whatever. So something I'm not a huge fan of in this game is that there's really not much to do in the gameplay department. You can activate these, you know, super moves when they're ready. Like this. But that's kind of all, as far as I know. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with this, but there's currently an event going on where every day you get a temple for free. So I thought, hey, that's cool. Hey, sweet. I like her. Uh, I've actually been watching the anime since it started airing. It's like the first season and the you know, new season that's airing currently is also very nice. Mm -hmm. Yay. Amazing. Uh, okay, so I unlocked story stuff, but I don't have to do it immediately, okay? Because every other time when I unlocked story stuff, uh, Kokoro showed up and was like, hey, let's do that right now. You don't have a choice. I have no idea how to, like, make a proper party if there's any, like, synergies to watch out for or anything. I'm, like, very, very early on. And, you know, for now that's working out. And, uh... I'm probably gonna learn if I stick with it. Or, well, I completely forgot to even use any skills because it just goes so fast. Yay, so more bond, uh, bond level ups. <laughs> Whoops, that was a loud bottle opening. Like this bond level stuff is something I really like about uh, Blue Archive. So if this has, if this game also has something like that, that's nice. I mean, of course, Fate also has bond levels, but like, yeah, there's just like five of those levels, and for each of those, you get like a little message that you can listen to and read. But that's just kind of like a short thing. Uh, and in Blue Archive, you get this entire, like, almost, like, dating sim-like thing, which is just very uh, pleasant. She's so cool. Look at her. Yes, ma'am. Cool stuff. 
I am sure. Hmm. Even more story things. Ooh, a boss. Maybe he'll be challenging, even though I'm not sure what a challenge would even be like other than, hey, you have to grind more. Well, it's definitely save, you know, big sword ladies a special skill for that boss. I guess we don't even need to save it. Oh. Huh? We'll be fine. Ah, yes, Picolina, you're definitely in this fight. Oh, bam! If I remember correctly, her skill decreases enemy um, resistances or something, so that's why I did it first. And that's, uh, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> I do. You know the typical uh, gacha game protagonist power of. If I'm around, everyone else is stronger. It's uh, hard to explain. That's just how it is. Oh, actually, let me do something real quick. Just realized. Uh, that my... Uh, my my camera, so to speak, uh, was not plugged in, so... Just to make sure it doesn't run out of batteries. Mm-hmm. Tozen no Kekaja. It is indeed, indeed Tozen. Area clear. Yay. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this doesn't unlock. What, what, what? Okay, so yeah, I do have to do story stuff to unlock that. But first. Yep, I did those things. Uh, I guess we might as well go do some story stuff. Kind of awkward that it starts at the top, even though it, the earliest thing is at the at the bottom. But whatever. So yeah, we already had interlude. I don't know why it showed up as a new thing. Maybe it's a different interlude. Voice on, and it also costs four extra megabytes. I think we can afford that. Oh, 
I do like the the chill vibes of like both you know, of this like in the anime it's also it's just kind of a pleasant show like without being a pure like um you know cute girls doing cute things thing there's adventure and stuff but it's still very you know very nice Poisoned? Mogu She is a maid, so, you know. Oh. Uh. So. Uh, I mean, I, I started recently also Lex West. I have a friend whose nickname is very similar to yours. I'm not sure if you're the same person. Because he spells his uh, with a 7 instead of a T at the end. But, I mean. Is that you? <laughs> It is. Hey, Alex. I guess uh, you saw the thing on Discord. I'm a cat girl. Look at me. Yes. Uh, just like the day before yesterday, I think. And uh, like I had no idea how link summons and link monsters and all that worked. Now I know, but I'm still kind of unfamiliar with a lot of stuff. I hope it's not too weird that I'm speaking English with you, <laughs> but I want to keep the stream English, so, you know. Uh, I don't have a proper deck yet. I've, I've, you know, I've drawn some packs and I've tried to gain a bunch of dragon maids and Amazonas cards. 
but uh, I'm not sure how to like if you know I mean I technically have like an Amazon stack I guess I think it's I think I put 40 cards together but it's probably not very good Who could possibly be responsible for the sandwich loss? I guess you can. Wait, the other way. Huh? There. Now, is it? Who could it possibly be? What could it possibly? What could possibly be the reason? That's definitely the reason. <laughs> I saw um I um I kind of randomly drew a card where I was like, man, my friend had this a mill deck and he would love this one. <laughs> so don't think I've forgotten about your your sins. Oh, I'm guessing Platinum's pretty good. I haven't played any ranked yet. I haven't, I've only played like the solo content where they give you a deck or they, I guess sometimes they also allow you to use your own deck, but I haven't really, you know, done much with that. The reason I started streaming, by the way, is because I finally have decent internet again. Like, better than ever before, yay! No, I totally thought she was talking to me.
Am I big? Uh, so, uh, this is Princess Connect. Oh, I should probably change it in the in the game that I'm playing. Thank, uh, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, whoop. Done. So, uh, Princess Connect is a gacha game, which means you can, you know, roll for characters and stuff. I'm not sure how familiar you are with that. Um, but... I have also just started this game myself, so I can't tell you too much about the gameplay, but um, it's like kind of an RPG. You put together a party of um, a couple of cute girls, I think if there are uh, only female characters. And uh, then, you know, you, they they fight monsters and bad guys and whatnot. And then, you know, you level them up and give them equipment. And then I guess the story is mostly played out via these like visual novel style cutscene like things, apparently. There's also an anime and um, it, it's, it's nice. It's actually a nice anime. I was watching it for a while before playing this game. And this white-haired elf girl to the left there, she's like my attendant or something. Like I have lost my memory or something and I'm some kind of special person. And she's trying to help me regain my former power or something. I'm not sure. It's very mysterious. Hey, she knows I'm the Princess Knight. I think that's the title that I had before uh, I lost my memory and whatnot. Something about this game, it kind of starts stuttering after it runs for a while. I don't know why. Yeah, this is... This isn't looking so good. Why is it stuttering? It's literally a cutscene. We're dead. Game over. That was a pretty short game. But, you know, it was kind of fun. I mean, you know, not much to it, but... <gasps> it's not over? Uh... But I guess in order to make this stream more appealing to my entire viewership, I'm gonna switch to, to Yu-Gi-Oh! now. Uh, also because the game has started stuttering and, uh, you know, that kind of sucks. Uh, I think if I just close this, it'll show you... Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Gotta start Steam. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! And change the game. And here we are. Whoops. I'm controlling this with a with a controller by the way. So these super smooth mouse mouse movements are 
via a controller. Issues. Uh huh. Uh, and now I can craft cards, if that's what you mean. But I don't have a ton of those resources yet. I just can show you the two decks that I've tried kind of building. It's an Amazonas deck with this, with Amazonas Scouts twice and Baby Tiger twice and three spies and only one princess? All right, I, I was pretty sure I had more of her than one, but I, for some reason she only showed up once in the list. Let me check again. Yeah, it says only once, even though I'm fairly certain I had more than one of her. And she's ultra rare, so I can't easily craft a bunch of her. Oh well. Uh, of course, good old swordswoman, chainmaster, paladin, tiger, whom I would have to craft, but since he's only normal rarity, that should be fine. Uh, related cards button on the left is always have uh, related cards. Oh, there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, why didn't she show up when I typed in Amazonas? She literally has Amazonas in the name. Oh, because she's banned. Ah. That makes sense. Yeah, I never noticed that button. That's good. That's good to know. Because, you know, there are often cards that are related but not named the same. Like this, right. No, wait, I think I knew about that one. Yes, I did. Uh, hmm, maybe I should have one of these in my deck. Uh, but it's like only if it controls, uh, if it destroys the monster by battle. But that's kind of the goal of this deck anyway, right? So, oh, wait, I already had one of these in the deck. I'm a fool. Anyway. Outside of all of this Amazonas stuff, I have Raigeki ones, two fusions, Monster Reborn, good old reinforcements of the army, and Call of the Haunted, and that's kind of it. And I feel like there are probably a bunch of other, you know, cards that should probably be in most decks that I am missing. But I don't know. I don't know anything. Then I also put together some dragon maids. I don't even know what most what a bunch of these cards do really. I've I read them, but I forgot about the the effects. And, uh, yeah. But now let me click the related cards button and see if we find anything new. Needs to be pumped up to fifteen. Why does it need to be fifteen? <laughs> Yeah, there they definitely are. Oh well. Let's do some solo stuff. The warriors of the six elemental lords. I get three of element element saber molehu molehu molehu.
the warriors of the six elemental lords. The world is comprised of six elements, earth, water, fire, wind, light and boobies. The elementals were brought to earth by six elemental lords. The world is at peace as long as the six elements are in equilibrium. However, when that balance is disturbed, the elemental lords appear. When the elemental lords' physical forms have increased in density enough to be seen by humans, disaster occurs. The elemental lords have appeared numerous times, causing natural disasters throughout the world. The ancient built temples to calm these the ancients built temples to calm these recurring natural disasters. People prayed continually, but the elemental lords did not possess the capacity to answer those prayers. However, the people's desperate prayers would be answered miraculously after hundreds of years. Another power that had nothing to do with the elemental lords may have taken pity on them. <gasps> that's a cute girl with a shield, and that's a cute girl with a... Something, and that's a guy with an X type thing. And that's a dumbass, and that's a lady, and that's a dude. They were called the Element Saber. They served the Elemental Lords and maintained maintained the order of the elements. Amazing. I thought the monarch story bit was a little more interesting uh yep let's let's fuck them up let's play another deck of cards that i don't know that i'm gonna spend like the entire match reading effects and rereading them and oh wait that's okay so this is just a little showcase what makes an element saber deck unique element saber monsters have effects that allow their attributes to be changed while they are in the graveyard okay while you have five element saber monsters in the graveyard, you can use each of their effects to fulfill the uh, special summon conditions for the mighty elemental lords, which is to have five monsters in the sa of the same attribute in your graveyard as specified in their descriptions. Okay. What's this? Palace of the elemental lords. Hold on, let me first read this guy. Uh, oh, that's the guy I just got. Uh, once per turn, quick effect, you can send one element saber monster from your hand to the GY. Uh, then target one face up monster on the field, change it to face down defense position. Okay. Once per turn, if this card is in the GY, you can declare one attribute. This card in the GY becomes that attribute. Okay. What's this? All monsters you control gain attack defense equal to the number of different attributes in your GY times 200. Uh -huh. per, uh, well, once per turn. Whoops. Fuck. Uh, you can add one element saber monster from your deck to your hand, but skip the battle phase hmm, of your next turn. Okay, so not this turn, but the next turn. Uh, even if this card leaves the field once per turn, and if an element saber monster in your hand is or field would send cards or a card. From the hand to the GUI to activate an effect, you can send that many element saber monsters from your deck to the GUI instead. Ooh. That seems really good for them. Uh, okay. La Puili! You can send two other monsters from your hand to the GY spell to summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect of Element Saber Labrilla once per turn. Apply the following effects to Element Saber and Elemental Lord monsters you control. Depending on the original attributes of any Element Saber monsters sent to the GY to activate this card's effect. Earth Wind cannot be destroyed by battle. Water Fire cannot be destroyed by effects. Light Dark, your opponent cannot target the card effects. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, that's, that's so much text. Activate the effect of a land saber la pula mana. Uh, but I thought I had to send two, or does this other guy have an effect that he counts as two? Shut up. 
Once per turn, you can send one element saber monster from your hand to the GUI send one, blah, 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 blah. Except blah, blah, blah. No. Huh? You can send two other monsters from your hand to the GUI. Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so I get. Okay, I wasn't supposed to special summon that, but use the, uh, another effect, I see. Activate the effect of Element Sable, La Pula Mana Card, you just. Okay, that's, just, uh, that, that's what it says. Um. Huh? Two other cards from your hand to this map. What? Oh wait, ah, of course, this card. Whenever, right, right. Whenever I can send something from the hand, I can instead do it from the grave, uh, from the from the deck. I remember now. Depending on the attribute of the element saver sent to your graveyard, element saver La Pula Mana activates powerful effects that protect you and your monsters when special summoned. In addition, Paddlers of the Elemental Lords has an effect that increases your monster's attack and defense depending on the number of that different attributes. There are currently two Element Saber Nalu Water monsters in the graveyard. Activate the effect of Element Saber Nalu from the graveyard and change its attribute. Sure dog. Uh, this one. No, this one. Uh, you're gonna be... fire. Now summon Lemon Tamer Malo as well. Attack with two powered up monsters. I would if you let me. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't even know what you do. I just, I read the, I read your text but I forgot. You attack this guy. And you! Finish them! Ha! Amazing. It's time to duel. Okay, I know this card. Let's just set it down. I think I know this card too. I can get a field spell. Sure, let's do that. Uh, hmm, which one do I choose? Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. What's this? Your opponent cannot target the uh, Palace of the Elemental Lords you control with card effects. That's nice. Uh, also, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. I see. Once per turn, you can tribute one monster. Special summon one element saber monster from your deck. I see. With a different original attribute than the that monsters. You can send this face-up card from the field to the GY. Discard your entire hand. Then add Elemental Lord monsters from your GY to your hand equal to the number of cards you discarded. Wow. What are you? Uh, once per turn, <clears throat> you can send one element saver monster from your hand to the GY. Uh, then target one element saver monster, except uh, or elemental lord monster that has been properly summoned. Okay, properly summoned. I see. Uh, properly summoned in your GY. Uh, what? Oh, it, so it must have been properly summoned and then sent to the gra graveyard. I see. Uh, special summon it, ignoring its summoning condition. Once per turn, if this card is in the GY, you can declare one attribute to this card. Okay, of course. Your attack and defense are 901,800, and you're stronger in that regard. I uh, can send one of uh, element saber or elemental lord once we attack to the GY, except. Uh, once per turn. Wait. Once per turn, you can send one element saver monster from your hand to the GUI. Send one uh, from your deck to the GUI. So, you know, let's just go with 
Uh, actually, uh, let's put her down in defense. And put this card down. What's this? All warrior type monsters you control gain 200 attack for each warrior or spellcaster type monster you control. I see. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. You can't do that. Right, that would destroy my, my thing, right? So if I... Does that help? Your opponent cannot target. Nope, that doesn't help. Also, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. That doesn't count either, does it? Hmm, I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> Yes. Wait, no, not that. No, 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 no. no I'm sorry. I'm, I, I was, I was, I was joking. I was joking. Um. Well. Fine. Fine. I don't even care. Oh God, I don't. I don't know who to summon. <laughs> You can send one element saver monster from your hand to the GY at one element saver or another lord monster from deck to the hand. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Uh, to the GY element saver or metal lord monster from your deck to the hand. Except for uh, once per turn, okay. Or once per turn, you can send one element saver monster from your hand to the GY, then target one element saver or another monster in your GY, except and add it to your hand, okay. Eh. Controlling this with the controller is. A little finicky. La Puili! You can say blah, blah, blah. negate activation. Hmm. You can send one element, seven monster from your hand to the GY, send target uh, one face up monster on the field, change it face down, uh huh. And you. you can send two monsters from your hand, sure, let's get this guy, whatever. Select. Right in the middle. Haha, -ha, fool! Look at what you made me do. Yeah, sure, we'll kill that thing. Fuck you, how dare you summon a monster. And okay, their field did not destroy mine. So they can coexist. Wasn't that a thing? Is this new that they can now coexist? Destroy each monster whose attack is higher than its original attack. Hmm. I'm not gonna use that now. <laughs> but I can just put it down. Um now I could Man, I could do so many things. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh what's the effect that you can just activate like this again? Um Let's pretend you can add one element saver monster from your deck to your hand, but skip the battle phase of your next turn. I might not want to do that, because I have other options. You, I can, thanks to you, I can use your effect with stuff from the deck. And you, your opponent cannot target blah blah blah, that's true, that's fine, that's cool. Uh, once per turn you can tribute one monster, special summon one element saver monster from your deck with a different right, right, right. Uh, so let's... Let's activate your effect, if I... wait, I can't. Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, or on the field, if an elemental mon uh, element saber monster in your hand or field would send a card from the hand to the GUI to activate an effect, you can send that many element saber monsters from your deck to the GUI instead. Why can't I do that? Hello? Hmm? Isn't that literally what I did in the tutorial that it showed me? What's happening? Wait, no, that's how you special summon it. It's already special summoned. I'm fucking... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. 
but uh, let's look at the other effects again. So Earth and Wind, we cannot be destroyed by that. Destroyed by battle, that probably won't happen anyway. Cannot be destroyed by effects, that sounds good. So if we can get water and fire. Uh, can we make that happen? No, we only have one monster. But we can... God, I forgot what the, the activated effect of this is again. You can tribute one, all right. Right, right, right. Okay, no, we can make this happen. That's good, that's good. Let's summon this fucker. Then we activate this. And we tribute this fucker. So now we have a fire monster in our GY. And then we summon... Uh, I mean, you have a lot of attack, that's not bad. Once mm. when a spell trap card is activated, you can send one elemental monster from your hand to the GY. That would be good with this thing on the field. So I want to try and discard the GY. Can yeah, sure. Let's let's get this buff this guy. Set him in defense position. Oh, what could we get? Hip Hun Hoshining Hoshiningen, the hip star person. Uh, two light monsters are light. I'm not. I'm gonna. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna fucking ignore this right now. <laughs> I don't want to read even more cards. And we want for you. We want fire and water. So we change this earth dude to fire. Sorry, this earth girl to water. I think, right? Water or fire, huh? Wait. Depending on the original or oh, original attributes of any element, saber monster sent to the joy. Oh, okay. No, it's based on the. Okay, maybe I should learn to read instead of just assuming things. Whatever. It's still good. It's all fine. It's all cool. I'm just gonna attack. Bam. Now, what could our opponent possibly do when we have this? Uh, we don't want this. I mean, I don't see a point in doing this right now, so no. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what our opponent is doing, but uh, I don't like it. Hey! Don't really feel the need to do that right now. So I'm just gonna attack like a bad boy. Well. So Harpy's Feather Duster is legal, but I I saw like I think Heavy Heavy Storm is banned. So that seems kind of weird. Uh, you activated the chain. What do you do? Uh, all warrior type monster you control gain two hundred attack for each. Uh, sure, man. Let's 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 wait. Oh, huh? oh wait. Okay. For some reason I thought he was this guy was that other guy. Yeah, I want to activate your effect. You don't get to play cards, you dumbass. Who do you think you are? Let's just pick one and random, whatever. Uh, no. No. Hey, another one of those. But first we're gonna attack. No. Oops. Yeah. 
And then we end. No. Yeah, don't fucking... Don't just think you can do things. It's not cool. It's just not cool. <clears throat> I'm growing more and more powerful. While you don't get to do anything. This really seems kind of fucking stupid. Like, what are they supposed to do? Well, that's not useful to me right now, but whatever. And now, just to be a jerk, gonna also destroy all your shit. Ha ha ha. And then we go into attack position for no good reason. And then we kill him. Ha ha ha. I am the greatest to-do list of all time. So I guess we could probably unlock this. No, because we don't have light orbs, okay. Uh, I don't think I want to go online. <laughs> the element saber now protect the temples which pilgrims no longer visit. And day to day they manage to the man they manage the elements that comprise the world not not to not flare out of control. Let's say, for example, the element of fire flares up. The elemental, the element saber would enhance the power of the water element. It would rain throughout the land, extinguishing the flames. When one element gets out of hand, forces of the opposite element are increased, restoring balance. The element sabers inherit only a fraction of the elemental lord's authority and cannot exercise all their power. Nor should that power make them feel as if they are gods. They use the, their ability to command, train and do right. Training never ends for the element sabers. These guys are too lawful good for me, for my uh, taste. Gate clear. Oh yeah, supernatural elements. Like, I never, I didn't, I did not say that I want to go to the store. Ruin and demise! Wait, can we also go to the other one already, huh? Well, so then why is this one locked? That seems weird. Whatever. Sorry stuff. Everyone's favorite. When a world is about to perish, it is seen on its way by two beings. The first is a red being that develops in that envelops in golden light and draws the certain curtain of the world on the world. She looks nice. She is an androgynous goddess, garbed in her robes. She does not look very androgynous, I'm sorry. She is a god with no believers. That's only natural. A world visited by the goddess Ruin is on the path to destruction. Any intelligent life that would believe in the wo in and worship that god would soon cease to exist. The second is a black being that envelops the world in blue flames which pulverizes the earth. A towering, omnipotent demon king, adorned in black armor. He's a king with no vassals. That's only natural. A world visited by the demon king Demise will soon meet its end. Those who would respect and serve that king would soon have their very lives destroyed. Cool.
All right, demise and ruin decks. That sounds fun. If you craft a card, you can you get access to the whole booster edition in the store. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I heard that that only works if you craft a rare card, a super rare card. But maybe it works no matter what rarity you use. Uh, what makes a demise and ruin deck unique? Demise and ruin ritual monsters. Okay, that's all their rituals. Uh, can all be brought out with the ritual spell End of the World. Demise allows you to pay life points to destroy all other cards on the field except itself. Wow. And Ruin has the ability to make another attack once it destroys an opponent's one stand battle. That sounds a lot less impressive. Uh, which uh, pick which one to ritual summon by taking into consideration what on what's on the opponent's field and you could deal a ton of devastating damage. Where are you? Can't check. End of the world. Let me check what this guy does first. Please. Please. If you ritual summon exactly one dark ritual monster with, this, with a card effect that requires use of a monsters, this card can be used as the entire requirement. Okay. So we have two ruined queens, so we don't get a choice. And we have this and this card. Shut the f... Uh, this card is used to ritual summon Ruin Queen of the Oblivion and or Demise King. So there's two cards that can do that. Uh, or Demise King of Armageddon. Yeah, you must also uh, tribute monsters from your field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. During your main phase, except to the turn this card was uh, sent to the GY, you can shuffle this card into the deck and add one end of the world from your deck to your hand. Huh. Then you can add one Ruin Queen of Oblivion or Demise King of them again from your GY to your hand. Wow. This card is used to ritual summon Ruin Queen of Oblivion or Demise King, blah blah blah. You must also tribute monsters. Uh, from your hand or field whose total level is exactly equal to the level of the... okay. Uh, hmm. I thought ritual monsters had to all be sacrificed from the field. Maybe I'm mis misremembering that. But hey, that makes this a lot easier of course. Right over there. <laughs> I did. I know. Bam! You don't have to tell me twice. Yes. Woohoo! What? How can you do this to me? I think I know what's about what I'm about to draw here. <gasps> Big surprise! I know. Yes. I don't really want to sacrifice this cute lady for this dumbass skelly man. But okay. Hello, I'm Demise. Pleasure to meet you. 2000 LP. That's kind of a lot, but hey, worth it.
Damn. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Did this bunny just dab? Oh my fucking god. Yugi was ruined forever because of dabbing my bunnies. Okay, that's quite the starting hand. Oh, yeah, it's different art for her, right? It's the same card, but different art. Cool. What's this? Pre-preparation of ri Right. <laughs> uh, add one ritual spell from your head deck to your hand. Okay, that's gonna make this starting turn pretty good. Uh, and add one ritual monster from your deck to your GY. Okay. Uh, from your hack from your deck or GY to your hand. That's very handy. Whose name is listed? Okay, that's uh, wow. And what are you? Turning of the world. This card is used to ritual summon ruin from your hand. You must also tribute. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can only activate one turning of the world per turn. Uh, sure. I mean, but I'm still going to play this first and get the other guy as well. Uh, no. We're going to pick um, this one. And gonna get uh, only one art for this guy. Then. Uh, hmm. Ah, okay. For this card, they have to be on the field. But for this one, it's fine if they're in the hand. So it depends on the ritual spell card. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, it can be from can it be from the deck? This guy is from your hand or deck. Wow, I guess then we might as well go from the deck, right? Uh, okay, that's my hand. That's my deck. And we get rid of one of her. Are they different? Uh, is she maybe different from the other one? Is she? Oh yeah. Oh, wait, that's a four. Okay, so this is actually a different card. Dang. Uh, Ruin Queen of Oblivion, and you are Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Okay. Okay. So I guess you, that just means you can summon either version with the same rituals by cards. But I just wasn't able to use her because she has fewer stars. Uh, you can ritual summon this card with Cycle of the World. Uh, I mean, of course. <laughs> uh, this card's name becomes Ruin Queen of Oblivion while in the hand or on the field. I see. So I guess Ruin Angel of Oblivion is what it's called by itself. I see. Um, if this card is ritual summoned, you can make it up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. Hmm. If this card is sent to the GY... You can target one ritual monster you control while this. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna uh, do that when the time comes, anyway. Just gonna hope my opponent doesn't kill my lady. What's this? Hey, you can't just do that. What are you doing? Hey, 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 stop. Hey, hey, hey. You can't just. Hey. Stop! How dare you! That's fucking rude! What the fuck? You fucking piece of shit. Haha! Hmm. And we could just summon this guy well we would still have to use this to do that that but then we would be able to destroy all of the shit and we could save our raigeki 
Um, or we could just summon her, use Raigeki now, and attack. But... Hmm. I think we're gonna have to summon her anyway, so let's just start with that. Let's get this fucker. Bam. Um, now the question is, do we use just one card and s hope that this shit doesn't kill me? Or do we use multiple? Like use both of these to summon this guy and then also 2000 LP to go like ham. I'm just gonna just, uh, just gonna see if I can make this work. <clears throat> Damn it. Wait. Oh, okay. You sacrifice this shit to destroy my shit. You fucking piece of shit. I mean, I would have done that as well if I had gone the, the extra mile, so I guess I saved myself a card. But that still sucks. You only work from the field, right? From your field, yep. So my turn's over. God damn it, why does my opponent have to have such a fucking lucky starting hand? Well, that does not help me at all. At all. Come on, give me something actually helpful. Or else I'm actually dead. I don't know what that is, but I hope it's helpful. When this card is activated, well, uh, hopefully we can get to that. Banish one ritual monster from your deck, okay. You can send this card to the GUI, then activate one of these. Huh? Oh wait, that's a continuous trap. Uh, activate one of these effects. Tribute one monster from your hand or field, or shuffle one ritual monster from your GUI into the deck. Whose level equals or exceeds the level of monsters Monster banished by this card's effect. Okay, then ritual summon that monster. Add the monster banished by this card's effect to your hand. That doesn't help me. Oh wait. Uh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh. Tribute one monster from your hand. A field of shuffle. One monster from the G way into the deck whose level equals and exceeds the level of monster. Okay. I don't think this card is going to save me. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I might as well play it. And that's my turn. That sucks. I don't think I could have really played this differently in order to win. I was just kind of unlucky. I mean, I, I guess I might as well activate it. Cool, huh? Um, let's banish this big bad. Oh, hey, that's what's well. What are you? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna check you out next turn, next time, because I'm gonna lose now. <laughs> Wait, did this motherfucker just sacrifice his own thing in order to destroy my card? Just okay. Oh, hey, Witch of the Black Forest, classic. Um oh yeah, and I can just use that right now. I'm gonna actually wait though. <clears throat> so the AI isn't the smartest. We learned that now. Oh my god. Why the fu oh it can destroy any kind of card, but that's good for me because ha 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 that's my good old witchy witch. Manju, the 10,000 whatever, when this card is in normal 
when this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual monster or one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. That's nice. And some other stuff. What are you? You can ritual summon this card. I guess there would be no point in getting him because I could get him via him. You can ritual summon this card with like, what the fuck ever, dude, I'm gonna get you. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, you piece of shit. <laughs> well. That was just kind of bad luck. Yeah, it's it's very near esque, which is nice. I don't know if you've played near, but uh, I would recommend those games. Okay, so we have cycles. In there. We have this card again. They've got a sangan. No, I can check. Oh, hold on. Okay. I can check what this does. Uh, execution of the contract. Uh, you can reveal one ritual monster in your hand. The monster, the equipped monster. Uh, wait, wait, what? Sorry. You can reveal one ritual monster in your hand. The equipped monster becomes the re revealed monster's level. Oh, until the end of this turn. If this card leaves the field. If this card is sent to the GY because the equipped monster is tributed. You can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Uh, you can only use each effect of... Holy shit, this card is sick nasty. So I've got a plan. Oops. Hey Sangan, here's a better version of you. A, a version that has been that had been banned for a while, but I guess it's legal now. I guess I have to activate this as one separately. Hello! And hello. It's really cool that they put seemingly a lot of effort into making ritual monsters and fusions and all that relevant again. Because. If I remember correctly, back when we were playing, fusions and ritual monsters were basically fucking trash. Um, with a very few exceptions. Activate the effect of... Uh, and, um, yes. I do. Then we get... Well, getting her would be cool, but but well, actually we do have this motherfucker in our hand, so yeah. Let's get her, then let's summon him, then let's get a card to summon her, and then we can attack four times! Well, two, twice each. That seems like a good plan, I'm not going to think about it anymore. What's this? Hey, wait, wait, you gotta... I didn't have time to check, what the fuck? No, actually, seriously, what the fuck was that? What? Seriously? What? Hello? Okay, that's that's weird. That is actually uh, kind of annoying. And uh, then we attack, I guess, and we hope that their, their trap card doesn't fuck us over. Of course, it's a sucker that's a uh, fucking armor. Classic. Classic. But we do have our monster reborn, so it's not that bad. Uh, now there are so many, sometimes have to wait like 10 minutes for an enemy to end their turn. Yeah, kind of seems like it. This is a card you just got. Please slow down just a fucking second. I'm trying to read what you have. Oh my god. No. This is uh, unfortunate for me. <sighs> K. 
Okay, so we have a visual card. Okay, how can we... I would like to summon my girl and power her up somehow. Just, I just need 200 extra attack to beat this motherfucker. Because then I could just beat this motherfucker and then end this motherfucker in the same turn. Can I make that happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh Wait what? Yeah, okay. Um no, I think my best bet is just to get my own copy of this guy. But first now I can finally check what what you do. When this card's normal a flip summon you can add one ritual monster from the deck to your hand, I see. Uh well Ah, but when I do that, I can't actually summon... Man, then I would have to use Monster Reborn to get her and then sacrifice her for that fucking guy. That's such a bummer. Ah! But I think it's the only way. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Actually, can I use... I can't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Well, wait, we should be fine. You're level 8, yeah. If we can sacrifice him and him and her, I mean... That's still a bummer, but it's better than what I just... thought. Summon this guy. And tribute these two. Uh, him first, I guess. In these... In cases like these, I wish I could just select both and then hit OK. It's like a, a continuous issue I have with this game. Look, I have him too. Don't you fucking dare activate that trap card. Uh, oh wait, right, she has an effect like that. Um, if this card is sent to the summon, no. Uh, if this card is sent to the GY, you can target one ritual monster you control. I do control one. While it's face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects uh, when your ritual monster declares an attack. That sounds nice. Sure. Okay. Now we use up about half of our remaining life points. What was that trap card they just lost? Nothing they can activate, so I don't give a fuck. And then we summon our other girl, just because um, I want to. Boom. We could also get him, but nah. That seems dumb. Bam. And now we mash in some faces. Bam. Our hand is empty. All we have are monsters. I hope I don't get fucked now. Gonna set that after attacking. Wait. Wait. What? What is it I could activate? All right, you have an effect. Uh, during a main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the come on to the GY, you can shuffle this card into the deck at one end of the world from your deck to your hand. Then you can add one Ruin Queen's uh, Ruin Queen of Oblivion or Oh yeah, uh, sure. Let's let's do that. That seems uh, incredible. Okay, and then we attack first with this guy because he like can't be stopped or whatever, right? And I guess then it's over. Yay! That first one was just kind of. Bad luck. GG. 
and you would require oh I could unlock you but I don't I don't wanna go and I drink some water <clears throat> the red being queen of oblivion uh, ruin queen of oblivion brings out to the world a reversal of time <clears throat> when evil has spread throughout civilization and when the world's end is in sight the red being returns to the world to a state before the cause of evil occurred there are cases in which this reversal may restore the world to a primordial state full of intelligent life In this way, the world is reborn with hopes that life will transpire on the correct path. For those living in the current world, this world uh, this would be synonymous with extinction. The process of rewinding the world to promote the proper development of life. What if the world continued, uh, continually takes a wrong path no matter how many times it restarts? The black being, demise king of Armageddon, brings about the true end of the world. <clears throat> its formidable power crushes the world's very foundations and eradicates all living things. There remains no trace that the world was there, only absolute nothingness. The Queen of Oblivion and the King of Armageddon. What lies in the heart of a being who witnessed the destruction of the world countless times over eons? That remains unknown and those who disappear, to those who disappear. Her effect really seemed way less amazing than his. Like, I didn't get to use it at all, except for the tutorial where it forced me to do it. Maybe I should have read the effects of those, like, even higher level versions of them. Maybe that would have been more like, whoa, she's sick. No, fucking stop. I don't want to go to the store. Jeez. <clears throat> Man, that's a bunch of these. Uh, the uh, mystery of the megalith. Guess I'll just do one more of these and then, I don't know. In ancient times, many monumental stone structures were built. Stone circles and pyramids are some examples of this. However, in many other worlds, there are various types of colossal structures. Let's take a look at one of these, the grand stone structures known as the Megalith. The Megalith Ophio is a white statue that resembles an angel. Pretty cute. Her wavy hair hangs down to her shoulders, and her eyes are closed in a gentle expression. What catches the eye most of all are the wings on her back, like those of an angel. Her radiant holiness inspires reverence and modesty in all who behold her. On the other hand, the black devil, Megalith Haggis, a statue of a haggard devil crouching with con contorted limbs. Its face hides behind a mask. The only clue at its expression is its slightly exposed mouth. Thorns that are driven into the side of its body inspire dread in the beholder. The sculptures of two children, the white and black Megalith Och. They appear a lovely pair of twins. By the shape of their wings, the white child appears to be an angel, while the black child appears to be a demon. It's also notable that they wear contrasting facial expressions. The pedestals of the megalith are comprised of an unknown material, not of natural stone. Their distinct features include a heptagonal uh, decoration and pattern imbued with mysticism. What kind of power is hidden within these pedestals, which emit a gentle light? 
Nobody knows. Do you watch any VTubers, Alex? Or is this like your first experience with technically kind of watching one? <laughs> Megalith Phalag. All Megalith monsters are ritual monsters. More ritual monsters, huh? Although they do not have their own dedicated ritual spells, each Megalith monster can be used to ritual summon other Megalith ritual monsters. Interesting. In particular, level 8 Megalith monsters can perform ritual summons when discarded from the hand to open up a range of plays, and when they are ritual summoned to a field via the card, via other card effects, you will gain access to high attack, high defense and other amazing effects that will push you further ahead in your duel. I see. Yeah, uh, I like uh, VTubers a lot. <laughs> Megalith Phalag. Or is it, maybe it's Phalag. Or something. You've drawn Megalith Phalag. Activate Megalith Phalag's effect and ritual summon Megalith Aratron. What if I don't want to? You can ritual summon this card with a Megalith card. You can discard this card to summon one Megalith ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field, whose level equal blah, blah blah blah. You can only use the effect of Megalith once per turn. Monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense, defense for each ritual, mon that ritual monster in your GUI. I see. Shut up, I just want to read. Shut up. Um, you can ritual summon this card with a Megalith card. During the main phase, you can discard this card, ritual summon one Megalith monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand to field to a total blah blah blah. blah, blah. When, you, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, you can uh, place one ritual monster you... Uh, wait, what? Yeah, you can... Uh, wait, what? To blah, blah, blah. You can place one ritual monster from your GUI on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, negate that activation, and if you do not that, destroy it. Holy shit. You can only use blah blah once, okay. <clears throat> you! Oh my god. I did. The power of a monster can negate opponent's effect set. Yep. I will. Oh, I guess that's that's already over then. Boom! Okay, another duel with cards that I don't know. By the way, is there a way to play, like to test your decks against the CPU or something? Because I couldn't find a way to do that. And I would like to first take, like, a deck of mine, uh, uh, you know, to some kind of training mode. Okay, what do you do? At the start of your main phase, banish uh, three or six random face down cards from your extra deck. Uh, and yeah, okay, I could just do that. I do have cards there that I don't plan on using. Uh, Lightning Storm. If you control no face up cards, just activate one of these effects. Uh, destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. Destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. You can only activate one lightning storm per turn. Mm -hmm. Megalith unformed! Uh, you can test draw five cards. Yeah, that's not quite the same thing. 
Um, activate one of these effects. All monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack for each neutral monster on the field. Until the monster, until the end of the turn, which will summon one Megalith ritual monster from your deck in, in defense position by tributing monsters from your hand or field who's level. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't want to. Uh, I don't know, playing against strangers online in every game just makes me feel so bad. Uh. This turn, all monsters on the field whose original types are machine or rock are unaffected by your opponent's monster effects, except their own. I read that, but I wasn't paying attention. This turn, all monsters on the field whose original types are machine or rock, so that's probably most uh, megalith monsters, are unaffected by your opponent's monster effects, except their own. Huh. Cool. Let's just set one of these down. Actually, I should have activated this first. Wait, why can I only set it? Excuse me? Oh, at the start of your main phase one. Fuck! Oh well. That's fine. Well. It's fine. It's not like my opponent's gonna fuck me up right now, right? Haha, <laughs> no way. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh, no. Megalith Och. Or probably Och. No, actually, it's Ophiel. You can ritual summon this card with a Megalith. Uh, you can add one Megalith monster from your deck to your hand. Wait, what? You can add one Megalith monster from your deck to your hand, except, huh? During a main phase, you can. Blah, blah, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can only. Uh, wait, what? Bring this card on your field. Stone and blah. Okay. Okay. This only is works to protect my own monsters, right here. My opponent's just going off. I didn't even draw a single monster. Oh my god. <clears throat> There's Och. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> I just want to read your effects first. This card is ritual summoned. You can draw one card, then discard one card. During the magic, you can activate this card, blah blah. Okay. Holy shit, will you stop? He's not even really actually accomplishing anything, is he? Okay, now wait, there's Haggith. What does Haggith do? You can blah blah when this uh, if this card is summoned, you can add one Megalith spell trap card from your deck to your hand during your main phase. Okay. What does that do? I can't why can I not Okay, at least I'm playing it so I can look at it. Megalith Portal. The first time each ritual summoned monster would be destroyed by battle. Each turn if it is it is not destroyed. If a Megalith monster is special summoned, except during damage step, you can add one rich, uh, rich monster from in your GY. You target one ritual monster in your GY. Add it to your hand. You can only use the holy shit, man! Oh my fucking god! The game is asking you to shop since you found a new booster key. Sometimes it's worth yeah, yeah, I know, but the secret packs. But, like, hey, I got one of these my own, my own now, isn't that nice? Okay, now this time I will actually activate this first. What's this? No. Hey, we finally drew a goddamn monster. Uh, you can discard one rock monster special summon from your deck. One rock monster that has the same original attribute and level as the monster in face up attack position or face down defense position. Okay. That doesn't really help me right now. What are you? 
target one of your machine or rock monsters, this, that is banished or in your GY, that cannot be normal summoned to set special summon it. Okay. Can I, can I just get one of these now? Is there a rock among these? Fiend. Fiend. Rock. Rock. Fiend. Rock. But it's it's only showing up in blue, so target one of your machine or rock monsters that is banished or as in your GY that cannot be normal summoned or set. I see, so I guess. Wouldn't that be the case? Maybe not? No, I guess not. Let's play our own portal just because. Uh, from your deck in defense position by tributing monster from your hand or for your I don't think I have like right can I is, it, do, is there a level 2 ritual monster I kind of doubt it ah uh, if I hadn't played this card I could have played this card first and this fucking god I'm so bad <sighs> Um, how much defense do you have? Not enough. Um, jeez, man. Hmm. Well. Well. I'm just trying to play too fast. Hey, that's Raigeki. But it's kind of a waste to use on this thing, but I don't... God, this sucks. <laughs> Is this deck just trash or am I just unlucky? Um... I guess I might as well just set you down so that my hand doesn't fill up entirely. What's this? Add one level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Then you can add one ritual spell from... Wow! Uh, well... That would be nice to have. Yep, thanks for showing... Uh, for coming by. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Let's definitely, you know, have you lose against my superior deck that I shall craft with my superior dual building powers because in my memory I definitely never lost to you in Yu-Gi-Oh! never ever no I was never frustrated at having my deck mode or anything never never ever so yeah <laughs> have fun and bye bye Megalith no at least our opponent likes making strange, nonsensical turns. Peace. I really think it should allow me to look at these cards that the opponent's showing me. Megalith promotion. You can target one level four or lower monster you control. Its level becomes double its original level until the end of its of this turn. Even if it's kind of you can only use the effect. Okay, hey, that's uh, cool for you. <clears throat> okay, fallet. You can summon this card, blah blah, you can blah blah. blah. Uh -huh. You can only blah blah. blah. Right. Once the control gain 300 attack defense for each ritual monster. That's a lot of fucking attack, bro! 
Uh, what's that? Oh, great. Sweet. This does uh, nothing for me. This also does nothing for me. Still nothing. Holy fucking shit, my guy. <laughs> what the absolute fuck? Like, I straight up just drew garbage. I guess I could have prolonged this duel a little more if I had used Raigeki. But that just... I still think that was the better decision not to do it. I just, it just happened to not work out. Oh well! <laughs> duel. Okay, 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 okay. We got some fucking shit in our hand. We can just do this again, because this time I'm not gonna forget. Boop. Okay. We can make, we can make something happen now. Maybe we can, maybe we can do something. So this is still that card, right? Yep. I should summon one from my deck in defense position. Uh-huh. Okay. There is a level 2 monster. So we could have done something that one time. You can ritual summon this card with as with a megalith card if you can. Let me drink a bit of more water. This card is ritual summoned. You can target one additional monster in... what the hell? Ah! No! Wrong button! Ah! Got a little confused, uh, there. You can ritual summon this card with a megalith card. If this card is ritual summoned, you can target one ritual monster in your GY. This card's level becomes the tar level of the target, then add that <coughs> target to your hand. Wow! During your main phase, you can activate the effect of one ritual... Uh, Summon... wait, what? You can activate this effect. Ritual summon one Megalith Ritual monster from your hand or deck by tributing monsters from your hand or field. Who's in blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the only one because this is the only one that I could make work. Yeah, okay, yeah. You're level 8, and sadly... No, wait. Or shouldn't this technically work? If I... No, wait, right. I would have to use one of these and then I would only have six levels left. No, wait, th there's two level fours. Why can't I summon you? Huh? Level four, level four. Right. Uh... <clears throat> mm -hmm. You can activate, like, during your main phase, which is now, you can activate this effect. Ritual summon one megalith ritual monster from your hand or deck by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster. Why can't I do that to summon him? Maybe there's something. You can ritual summon this card with a megalith card. You can discard this card. Okay. Uh, you can discard this card, ritual summon one megalith monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field. This card is ritual summon, you can't. Uh, okay, but I still don't know why I can't use one of these. It makes no sense to me. Hi. Um, no. Now I need to know what they do. Uh, if this card is ritual summoned, you can add one Mega the Spell Trap card from your deck to your hand. During your main phase, you can do this shit. 
you can ritual summon this card with a Megalith card. Uh, if this card is ritual summoned, you can add one Megalith card, a uh, Megalith monster from your deck to your hand. Except, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Hmm. I want a magic or trap card. <clears throat> what are your stats? Uh, this is the first turn, right? So, let's play it a little safe. So we could get this portal. What was the what were the other effects again? So my monsters can't be destroyed by battle one time. If a megalith monster is special summoned except during damage up, you can uh, target one ritual monster in your GY. Alright. Yeah, you can... That would be nice. That would also be pretty helpful. You can target one make this monster in your GY special summon in defense position. Uh, but place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field, even though uh, you can only use the thing again. That would be pretty good. Because then we can just get that guy, I think. Let's try it. Then we set both of these. And then we could also do something more, right? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, you can reach some kind of blah, some blah, 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 blah. During your main phase, you can activate this effect, which will summon one ritual monster from your hand by attributing monster from a no. Whatever. We're done here. <clears throat> well, I don't like that, but that doesn't mean that I, you know, can do anything about it. What, you're trying to copy me? Okay, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. No. No. You have a lot of text on you. Uh, if this card is ritual summoned, you can add one megalith monster from your hand, uh, from your deck, to your hand. Except blah blah blah. You can blah blah. Okay. I guess they all have a lot of text on them. Uh, no. Wait, what are you? You can reach to summon this one, right? If you, uh, if you this card is reached to summon, you can draw one card, then discard one card during main phase. Blah blah blah. Okay. You're just going nuts. You're doing way too much shit, dude. What are you, by the way? Why do you have so little attack? What the fuck? You're not just on this guy. Hmm. 
You don't have an effect outside of the basic stuff? What the fuck? Why are you level 8 then? I guess in order to, you know, be a good material for others. Hmm. And here I was thinking it would be a good idea to summon you. Holy shit, can you stop, please? Well, great. You can ritual summon this card now, of course. Yep, yep, you get a lot of attack and shit. Can I do something about that? This is fucking stupid, what the fuck? Well... Huh, okay, so this protects me as well. That's that's very smart of you to play that. Um, not right now. Great. What do you do? Can you destroy this fucking piece of shit, please? Uh, well, you can target one ritual, some ritual monster in your GY. This card's level becomes the level of the card, then, right, that's, that's just you. Hmm. Well, let's just see if we can get something. Maybe, maybe there's something in our deck that will help us. <clears throat> cool. Maybe I should have used this first. Oh my fucking goodness, dude. Fuck it, I'm just gonna leave this uh, duel and start over because holy shit, this, this kind of is uh, lame as hell. The other duels that I lost were like, okay, had some bad luck, made some bad decisions. But both of these were like, I know a type of deck that I won't be playing. Okay. This is the guy you've been killing me with. Well, nothing to it but to do it.
right in the middle. Let's hope it's not a cycle death uh, armor or anything. Okay. No, 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 no. Sorry. Main phase two. And now my opponent's gonna go the fuck off and get the same guy, but way stronger, and it's gonna be fucking trash. I'm gonna be sad. Oh. We made it through. Right, that's just the guy that does nothing. Sure, let's do that. Hmm? What? What's the problem? What do you want? Seriously, what the fuck do you want? You can target one mega once on your GY, special zone in defense position. Why? Okay. Whatever. <sighs> Not enjoying this duel. Maybe I can't choose these because I never, you know, properly summoned them. That's my only explanation. This guy didn't have an effect. You can reach the summon this card with a mega other card. You can discard to uh, summon with mega the from your opponent. If this card is richer, oh hey, there is an effect. You can uh, target cards your opponent controls up to the number of ritual monsters with different names in your GY. Destroy them. You can, holy shit. Um. Cool. I'm so glad I fucking missed that. And that I didn't get, like, if the if I had been able to summon the guy that I wanted to summon, then this would be okay, but no. <sighs> so... 
So I guess I should activate this because why not? Hmm. No. I don't have yes I do. Okay, what do we want? Another one of these. This guy. What are you? Uh, when your opponent activates. Alright, oh, this is this thing. Uh, the target's a card you control. Yeah. Huh? Wait, what is this level? You're level 8 too. Why can't I tribute you to summon you? Huh? Excuse me? Make a little ritual monster from your deck in defense position by tribute monster from your hand. Bring it to the total level equal exactly twice as much. Jesus Christ. I cannot read. That explains everything. Okay, so we can't. Well, we could, but we don't want to get that one. I guess we'll get a level 4 guy or something. During the main phase, you can activate this ritual, summon one ritual monster from your hand, to buy a tribute monster from your hand. Wait, what's your own effect though? If this card's ritual summoned, you can add one megalith monster from your deck to your hand, except megalith up here. Uh huh. And you can give me a spell or trap card. I am not a fan of this deck. I mean, yeah, of course. course. And what's this? Paying it on weapons in return, then target one initial monster in the gym, I suppose to summon it and equip it with this card, with this card, of course, of course, of course. I guess I don't have to. 
I want to draw my card first. Hmm. Places in the bottom of the deck when it takes a field, even if it's constant. So, destroying this does not get rid of that, does it? I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I thought things would go differently, but I uh, I was wrong. Maybe I can summon something that helps me. Huh? Maybe, maybe. What do you do? Two months with different names. Okay. This card is link summoned. You can discard one card, then target one special summon monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Destroy it. Then, if this card was co-linked. When this car, when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. You can only use one effect. Okay. I mean that would help me destroy this piece of shit, but I would lose my own guy. Two of so different names of the card is Link Summon. You can discard one card and target one spell trap card. Your opponent controls destroyer. Then blah blah blah. Okay. And you have how much attack? Thousand six hundred. So that doesn't actually really really help me. But if I don't do this, then you will just attack my guy twice because you can. With, well, because you have to, rather. God, I fucking do not like this. Fine. God, I hate this. Fucking hell, man. And I can't even use this guy as a ritual uh, thing. Because he's got no level. Oh, great, of course. How did you do that? Do you have just, did you just have a monster reborn or something? What's going on? How did you do that? I can't believe I've lost to the same piece of shit. Is it the third time or the second time? Here we go again. Doesn't really matter. Hold on. No. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't work. It sucks. Look, I'm just as strong as you, but it doesn't help. I guess it helps a little bit. Actually, wait, it helps a lot. <laughs> there. I'm not even thinking anymore. That's how much I am annoyed by this fucking... Uh, okay, that was not a smart move. Wait, okay. That you didn't end your turn, that that's how you started it. Why did you go into attack mode? That made no sense. What are you doing? Oh. 
but I guess I can't kill you in one turn, so I guess it doesn't really help me. So I'm just going to do as much damage as I can. Hey, wait, hold on. Why was I able to kill this guy this time? Wow, what the fuck are you doing? You can target one mega, not send GY. Right, 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 this thing. Okay. That was really dumb. <laughs> this CPU is something else. But at least I didn't have to try again. Sure, tell me more about these fucking pieces of sh sugar. But that's too fucking that way it doesn't know if another one or stay cut about it. The pain found the house of the million dollars that the past wings. The fire craft and general field, the fashions of the spear. The pain found the house of the field, the two four wings. The results of the glaring and holding the horns. Some possessors of the region have mega tariff. So I went to the same as one house. Oh, oh, oh. It was a mega. But that's all. Megas have the power to create kind of forces that were destroyed. How they were made, it was pretty power. Megas is a great mystery. The key is all the mystery management is in Megas' right there. Okay! The idea with this, with these Megaliths, like of them being, you know, serving a dual purpose of being both the ritual monster and the ritual spell card kind of is neat but this duel soured me on them a lot also, yeah i don't know also the way the text was structured on the in the text boxes made it hard to find the actual effect that i was looking for so i missed a bunch of them that screwed me over a couple times. I don't know, man. Ooh, a bunch of missions cleared. 30 entire gems, wow. That's better. Okay. And we got a legacy pack thing. Which we use here. Give me the goods. Whoa. Pyramid of Light, I remember you. You were in that movie, right? You know, one of those movie cards? Yeah, Sphinx. Andrew Sphinx and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, cool. Amazing. Well, well, well. Well, ending it on a on a low note, I guess. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, yeah. Played some gacha. Played some dual monster stuff used yet another avatar and uh, 
I don't know what else to say. So maybe see you next time. Bye-bye.